All right, welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is Juan and I am your spiritual advisor. Hello to all my beautiful messengers all around the world in your respective places. I appreciate and love you so very much for every single thing that you do. Number one, being a subscriber, liking my videos, sharing my content, and connecting with me in the comments because uh, I love to hear from you. All the love tips and donations, guys. Thank you so much. You are a complete godsend, all right? Um, if you're new here, you're more than welcome to stay and join the gang because we definitely love to have you here. So go ahead, tap in and subscribe, all right? Hit the doorbell on the way in. Hit the like button, all right? Um, and yeah, what else? Uh, oh, book a reading. That information is in the bio and the pinned comment. You can also tip the bartender at any time. If you appreciate this reading, and show love for the channel, Cash App, PayPal, or Patreon. All right, let's get into this reading. I've been sitting on this since forever. I actually avoiding procrastinating because I don't want to know. I, I don't. I don't, but it's here. And I was like, I said I was going to do it. I wish. <laughs> Let me just move it on. Okay, because I'm a little, I'm a little tweaked <laughs> about this reading because it's sad. It's a sad subject. So we're going to talk about the gun laws and why uh, they refuse to ban these automatic weapons. The energy behind these school shooting. You, Vlad, I know I said that the name of the town wrong, but we all know uh, where all those innocent babies were slaughtered by uh, that crazy dude. Okay, uh, the kid with the whatever. Okay, let's get into it. Um, first things first, why? what is the real reason why they will not fully ban, uh, fully ban assault rifles specifically? Tell me about the amp. Somebody said corruption. Okay. Um, behind why they won't ban these weapons. All right. Uh, other countries, again, they don't have this problem, this issue. Uh, they have the strictest of the strictest laws. Okay, we may need to go and we may need to take some notes. All right, we're the only country with this. And it's just like, why would you allow something like this? There's really no reason for this particular uh, gun. They said they couldn't even identify those babies because they were shredded up uh, with that weapon uh, here. So what is the real reason behind why? The government, uh, the president, the White House, everybody, Wall, everybody, Wall Street, whoever stands to benefit. What is the real energy? Uh, and again, I, I heard something very profound on Twitter and they were like, you know, y'all tripping on these politicians because they play both sides. At the end of the day, the, the different sides, the liberal, Republican or whatever, that's just to create uh, division and dissension and separatism. I know I said that wrong. Uh, between the population, between us, the civilians. But behind the scenes, he was like, these people shake hands. They go to dinner. They go on vacation. All of that. Okay. So they all they basically saying that they're all in the same gang at the end of the day. All right. So why won't they uh, ban these weapons? What is the real reason? And why do they play uh, in our face here? I just, as soon as I said that, right? P in the P. Okay, priest and a player here. I just said somebody plays in our face like they really uh, want to do the right thing or something like that. But... Uh, like they have the uh the the sympathies and all of that uh about it uh whoever uh benefits from these weapons uh, again being readily available to anyone okay uh here let me bring that back what is the reason why they won't ban these weapons all right are. Oh, yes, with the priest, they feel like, again, uh, um, I don't know what's the, uh, how the pie splits um, with people who, again, feel like it's my God-given right to have this, uh, to have this uh, weapon here, like, I don't know, like, uh, but, but that's what it's giving, like an obsession, all uh, like a cult culture and and maybe they're just big in numbers all right the the gun people enthusiasts is what i'm hearing uh or whatever
I feel like the people that need these, uh, I don't know. It's almost like um, the drug sector or the black market on the drug sector. Like maybe it makes so much uh, money here. I don't know how much money that is above the table, but whatever is below the table is a lot. Okay. Yeah, kids buy them. Of uh, music also plays a part here. This fell on the floor. Family ruin. Yeah, man. I don't, but who would want this though? Family ruin and player. But then I saw iPod here. All right. Uh, I'm feeling certain types of, uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's all kind of things fueling this, uh, energy here all right also music i definitely feel this family ruin and player um on the uh floor here um i feel like the idea is that it's it's bizarre that people know that these weapons ruin uh people's lives and all that but they like they they don't care Like there's a uh, the enthusiast, uh, the gun enthusiasts are are. It's, I I just keep getting cult. Like you don't even understand. Like they don't even uh they don't care how much they uh they know they ruin lives. They know they you know all of that. And I feel like they give you just enough uh to pacify you here. They pay off a lot of people. Okay, it's like a, we'd rather uh uh pay you off or uh paying a lot of people to keep quiet about this okay or these different suits uh they'd rather earn the money uh from uh, from that green here this is uh weird this is very very weird I said I feel like the money uh, that's going under the table that they make is more than whatever is being done above the table. And that's why they have no interest in making sure these weapons are uh, banned. All right. A lot of contracts and a lot of things that you knew who was really responsible uh, for keeping these laws, these guns uh, in, pay, uh, in place here. I also feel like um, like. Uh, whatever company or something like there are some really shady dealings here uh, shady enough that somebody could really uh go to jail here but i feel like it's because of the level in cruelty and the data and whatever it is they know about um uh, uh having these assault rifles like bizarre enough uh among okay so it's like they're profiting off of these crazy and uh and through it uh and oh shit this is fucked up they're profiting off of the crazy and through uh let me slow down enthusiasts thank you all right and i have trouble speaking so these are people that have uh mental problems all right compared they they're profiting these gamer uh kids that stay in these uh lost world these uh ipods and all of this uh knowing uh it, it's, it's a racket thank you <laughs> it's a fucking racket like everybody works with everybody here but these uh, kids they play these crazy video games that uh subconsciously programs them they, they're hearing voices and all of this stuff they go off they kill people they kill their family and then the imagery and uh, all that is you know pumped into the media and guess who's also watching the other kids that are having thoughts about killing people and enthusiasts and, you know, the ones that are mentally have that tick and the ones that, you know, again, God, I feel like they're being influenced by the music, taking advantage of these uh, weird kids, uh, uh, mentally unstable kids that are playing these games, listening to this music like it's all a big circle. And 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 that comes in green. And it's just like they they make so much money, uh, not only just from the. The, the the criminal aspect but just from uh 
this weird marketing scheme is just like we'll 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 pay a couple of people or whatever a couple of people have to die cool we'll slide that because whatever they're sliding the victims is nothing compared to what they're raking in from this cycle this is another funnel of money here if that makes sense okay uh more than gun shows more than you know uh, weird enough. That's very, very, very uh, fucking weird here. <sighs> Beauty stabs Angel. Again, somebody has a stick. They have a stick marketing. Uh, like no morals or, or whatever. You know, like knowing that while people will mourn uh, these deaths and, and however these automatic rifles are being used, they know that those people that are sick and have twisted uh, reasons behind buying these weapons or, you know, again, the mentally unstable like that, they know that that attracts them. Thank you. So it all like it all works out for them in some weird, twisted uh, way. The outcry, the, this is energy harvesting here. Okay. <sighs> DA Blonde uh, flirts with, again, I feel like lots of people are paid to play in your face. DA also representing the police to me, playing, uh, playing dumb here, the delayed responses here, the uh, empathy, like, I don't know, something is just very false uh, and, and, and fake here, all right? What is that that fell on the floor? All right. Give me the energy behind these gun laws and why they won't remove them. Oh, shit. Whatever this was, uh, where was this? You've allowed, wasn't there a lot of Mexicans over there or something? So I feel like we're getting into this. Why can't I sleep at night? The hardworking, uh, Mexican here. This is giving, um, uh, what was that other mega hit, Mecca Hitler? It was one, uh, another one of them readings. Go back to that reading. That is this here. If you're asking why was the delay with the police response and all, it's some weird internal shit going on, but it's giving, you know, build the wall and MAGA energy and racism energy and, and all that and somebody feeling like, um, uh, again, uh, they're the reason for that they can't succeed in life. This could also be, uh, oh boy too here, uh, the killer, but I feel like it, is, it isn't just the killer. It's, uh, the energy behind why they didn't go in there, uh, for these kids, uh, preserving themselves, uh, over these kids because, uh, again, why can't I sleep at night? It's giving, you know, they're taking all the job or they're taking all the, yeah, look at this strikes suspect native snubs here. Um, so I don't know. It's giving somebody, I don't know, somebody pissed somebody off in this neighborhood. I feel like there was something going on in this particular neighborhood or whatever, a power struggle between maybe the residents or something and the police. I don't know if they had a longstanding beef or some shit like that, but it's giving like, we just going to look the other way because they've got a bone to pick or they, uh, something like they use, uh, yes, yeah, snake S S S. Uh, so S could be definitely relevant here. Um, but it's like they use this situation to kind of settle a score. I don't know what the fuck that score is, but that's just the energy that I'm getting off of here. And so it's like they knew what was happening, but like, okay, whatever. Like they went on strike, uh, period. All right. The subs, the, the acting like they didn't see his ass or whatever. Act like they didn't know we didn't see anything. Uh, here, okay, like, uh, because somebody, it's, it's giving, like, because, I don't know what, again, what, what's going on in the neighborhood, but it looks like somebody stood up in their power, and because somebody stood up in their power, I don't know if they were, uh, 
uh, petitioning for equal rights, something like that. They're like, okay, they hit them where they hurt. Basically, it's like, you don't need us or you want to regulate us? Cool. I don't see nothing. That's what the police is like. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. So you guys could put in the comments how that resonates, but I feel like there was some sort of power struggle. And because it, they look, they took this moment to, to play crazy, uh, basically and hit whoever they wanted power over where they hurt and that's those babies unfortunately here again it's giving hard-working mexican why i can't sleep at night all right um what else tell me about this evil ass situation with these children I don't know what that means here. Give me, let me go here. Yes. Who will have a statue made in their honor so they uh, may build something or look for somebody to uh, erect some kind of a situation in their honor? Again, for the gun people or whatever, even that works in their favor, okay? Because they're catering. They're knowingly catering. It ain't about uh, hunting bears and no bullshit. Like, those guns are made for war. So, uh, okay, it ain't about hunting or whatever. It's about the, the, them benefiting off. This is marketing to them, too, okay? What else? Tell me about this. Why didn't they go in and help those children? What's the energy? Who would have their own reality and TV show? Again, I'm also feeling that this is the killer. Uh, also, uh, energy harvesting, knowing the attention of the media, the documentaries. Like they, they, uh, somebody has an invested interest. This is about money, even uh profiting off of your pain basically here okay they may not be honored within their public but i feel like they're uh these officers or whoever look the other way they're honored within their circle because there's some type of a racism here strong okay who is the first one found in hide and seek poor babies poor babies okay Poor babies, they come in here, and that's why I didn't want to do it. Who would be the first person to stand up for someone that is being picked on? Good job. Good job. Bless you, baby. So they're coming in, uh, basically uh, saying a lot of them uh, to the parents of these Uvalad children. I know I'm saying that wrong. You'll be so proud. At, uh, there was a lot of heroicism here. These babies, oh my God. There's so much heroicism here. And them standing up uh, to uh, this man. A lot of them, they didn't go down you know crying and you know a lot of them really as we were saying the hood went down like jesus so to speak just they were so brave uh again whoever got found or whoever hid and if you know that person's friend got found they stood up who will be the first person to stand up for someone to be picked on a lot of them use their own bodies here uh to uh shield uh the their friends and, and all of that uh, here just uh, man you're gonna hear stories about that okay look out for those re uh, not on uh, documentaries that come out uh, pay attention to who's behind these documentaries who's doing this all this trauma and pain someone is definitely again looking out to profit but um, I'm feeling on scene here that uh, these babies stood up for each other who would stand uh, by you in a bar fight even though uh, they know even though they know you are wrong here again I feel like a lot of these children standing up for each other but also uh, this is another reason why they refuse to get rid of these weapons because they profit off of uh, all of this so it's like oh well I know they I know uh, he went in there and killed you know hundreds or whatever 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 but that's not the reason that's still no reason to you know ban these weapons or that one thing has nothing to do has nothing to do with another is gaslighting energy pretty much here
Mm-hmm. Who's smarter than people think? Who who drinks whiskey in their coffee at work? Who would make 10K commission on the fastest used car salesman? I'm feeling this energy. Uh, so I don't know who this is in particular. I feel like this is a very particular, a teacher or somebody on staff did not, they feel like did not protect uh, them here. This is somebody who may come to work inebriated or something like that. Someone who is probably known to everyone as a good and upstanding person but they feel like these children feel like they're fake they feel like that they didn't try to protect them um or whatever or somebody's story about how they uh protected or, or or whatever something like that is uh is not true it's false okay it was a lot of these babies uh standing up and br being more braver uh than the adults okay here What was that? Who will win the lottery but lose the ticket here? There's politics behind this. People using this uh, information, using this energy uh, here for political purposes and gains. So if that comes up in the latest uh, election or somebody tries to use these children's pain or, or something like that to push their campaign, that's going to backfire um, here. Uh, pay attention. They're going to try to use this to manipulate emotions and profit off of these babies' pain here. So watch out. Uh, yes, who has the most awkward middle school uh, yearbook uh, photo here? So some kind of campaign is definitely going to go backwards uh, or, or going to be or, or is going to backfire. It's just not a good look. Somebody going to fumble. They're going to try it and they're going to fumble um, here. OK. Uh, trying to use this particular situation to make promises and all that just to get in office and do all that uh, bullshit. Um, I feel like I would hope they say that there's pictures of this incident at Uvalat. Uh, some people were uh, out crying. They said, oh, you need to make this public. People need to see. I would hope that this is not that uh, those pictures being leaked or if somebody just tries to use that for their campaign, maybe take a picture and leak it to try to get a ticket or win a ticket. Something like that, all right? This is disgusting, absolutely fucking disgusting. I hope those babies' pictures don't get leaked, but someone may use this to try to be the savior of the guns rights activists, and we decided, like, I don't know, okay? All right, but that's what that is giving here, uh, using this, all right, to uh, further themselves, further uh, their career here. All right, listen, I'm going to end it right there. I'm definitely going to do a part two to get more into this. Uh, do me a favor while you're here, like this button. Let me know how you feel in the comments about this reading. All right. If you appreciate it, you can support the channel by tipping, donating, cat our PayPal or Patreon below in the comments. Everything you need to know about me is in my bio. I love you with the highest love. One.